as I previously mentioned, the Lakers are the first team to win an in-season tournament championship and a Western Conference playing championship in the same series, same season. After the win to lock up the seventh seed, <laughs> the in-season tournament champions and Western Conference playing champion Lakers head coach Darvin Ham had this to say about their upcoming rematch with the defending champs. Back to zero and zero. We with all the smoke and we ain't ducking no fades. Okay. Uh, go enjoy this one tonight, take tomorrow off, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Who the fuck is videotaping from under him? <laughs> 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 Hey, I, that, that guy hey, shot Gil. That hey, guy shot. I mean, just from the reports of the the uh, from was it Rod, Lil Rod, when he was saying he was videotaping, you know, Diddy in the shower and shit like this. This whoa, what are we? Looking this at? looked like the view. This looked like the view that it was coming from. What are we? talking about? <laughs> it had nothing to do with anything going on in the show. Right? What are we talking about, man? <laughs> just think about what I'm saying. Oh, relax, oh. relax. <laughs> Relax. I can't think I can't, about what, think what you I want to think about right, what you're saying. This is a coach making a speech. Why is it coming from underneath? That means this person is on their knees. <laughs> it's a god shot, Gil. This, you, now you get it. This person is on their knees filming up, right? And I'm like, whoa, this look like a, this look like something I read. This look like something I read. And a little... Stop, get oh, away. That's all I get said. away for the music to cue. Man, man. Uh, all right, hey. all right okay. That looked normal. <laughs> that, that view is normal for a coach giving his speech. All right? Mm -mm. They just hiring little people. Mm -mm. I get it. Okay. <laughs> They just hiring little they people just hiring little to just people. film speeches these days. <laughs> He's on his knees. He's filming up. Like, oh, buddy. What you got going on down there? I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> you said he's at junk level. Okay. Uh, so this ain't Lexi. It's a hero shot. <laughs> it's a hero shot because Darvin Ham is a hero too many. Uh, calling timeouts to stop Pelicans runs on Sunday. Hands out of the pockets. Moving around, mm. as the young kids like to say. But let's talk about this Lakers-Nuggets matchup. Lakers have lost eight straight games to the Nuggets, including losing in the minimum games necessary in the Western Conference Finals last year. So let's start with our uh, resident Lakers fan, Mr. B. What do the Lakers need to do to avoid the same result as last year's Western Conference Finals? Uh, AD, you'll have to play incredible. Um, playing against Jokic, and you know what he does, but I think... They can, if he can find a way to match his energy throughout the, the series, I think they'll be all right. What's incredible? Play, play insane. Play like, have a, like, 40, have a, like a, 40 and 15, 40 huh? and 20, 30. 30 and 20. Yeah. Five blocks. Average that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, if you can average that now. And then depending on how Jamal Murray come back, you know, if he's not the same, you know, they might got a chance right there. You don't think he got to put some pressure on Lemon Daddy and all? Papa Di Lamont, Austin Reeves. He ain't stepped up at all, man. Yeah, him and Austin Reeves. I mean, Dila gonna have to play. They gonna have to play. They have so. Yeah. Cause uh, them two and the other niggas. Like AD ain't though, and AD, thirty and 10, 30 and fifteen. That's too much, man. What you mean? Too much pressure. It's gonna have to be something like that, cause you know the Joker can go. You said they lost what? You said how many in a row? Uh, eight, eight basketball games. They lost eight in a row. It says six. Who told you that, Gil? I don't know. Internet. Okay. They lost all four this year? They played three times this year. So that's seven. And Plus they, the four. They lost in the previous season, that last game as well. Mm -hmm. So those numbers combined. Y UCLA eight. education, baby. Mm -hmm. We give you eight. Okay. Plus, I like that, though. Austin Reeves. <laughs> yeah, he got a, yeah. All those numbers. He got give you 20 plus. So stop listening to the internet, Gil. No, I'm just looking, just a little quick, little look. Shit, Spencer? <laughs> Spencer definitely got us. Like, like Spencer can. He can't give you three points no more. Like, a lot gotta go right. A lot gotta go right. Yeah. But it can't. It, it can happen though. Doubt know, it, but it can't happen. To, they don't even know how to rep the lit. Man, look, man. AD played the same as he did last year. LeBron played the same as he did last year. If D'Lo plays how he's been playing this season, winning this series. How? How? Y'all still? We got swept last year. We got swept last year. So it could be maybe four so to two. One, maybe it could be more competitive. So we lost two, one, two, three points, right? Last year, D'Lo averaging three and four points a game. So if D'Lo's averaging the 10, not even 10, the 15, 20 that he's been doing, it's a, it's a whole different series. He averaged three and four last year. He had to get benched last year. But wouldn't it be a whole different season? Wouldn't you guys be like third seed instead of eighth seed? Right. Why does that even matter? 
So he's playing better. What I'm so, last season against the Nuggets, D'Lo averaged six points. Yeah, but six six points last year. Four assists, two rebounds. So if D'Lo averages exactly what he's averaging to compromise what Murray's bring, remember, Murray is winning. Jokic is doing what Jokic is doing, but AD's playing just as great. He was playing just as great that series. Braun is offsetting, but Murray himself was so far in front of D'Lo that someone had to make up those stats. If D'Lo can match his, his production, AD production, then you have Braun, Lemon Danny, and Rui can offset everybody else. This could be an actual matchup. Is, is, this is D'Lo. D'Lo got to give us, he has to average anywhere from 15 to 20. If he can average 15 what to 20, average this year? we're good. What did D'Lo average this year? Let me pull it up. He was killing them. And they still are in what seat? Exactly. They don't worry about that. They don't worry about that. They don't worry about They fight like... So D'Lo averaged 18, 6 assists, 3 yeah. rebounds. So he averaged 6 games. in that series. If he averages 18 in this That's series. That's not a guarantee they win the series. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. just making them more, one, more, two, that make it a more competitive four. series. It go from 4 games to 6 games, no, maybe 7. No, we maybe. win those games because we, we can't win because he, he, he averages 4. Don't forget four. the Joker we can turn it up even do. more. Don't huh? forget Joker can turn it up more. We ain't worried, but nobody worrying about that nigga. Facts. Look, look, look. Hey, and, and I think Brown Brown is going to outplay uh, Austin Reed. Cap. And they can't even shoot. He ain't got to. Can't shoot going wrong. Right. He dunking on motherfuckers. What is he saying after he I'm more, They yeah, second bro. unit is tough. <laughs> Denver's second unit is tough, bro. They have a squad. That, that second unit is, is really, that's the like difference. It. They second unit we, is we, tough. We, Y'all playing. Hey, Y'all gonna play like seven, eight defense. They ain't blocking everything. Playing defense. Hey, playing defense. Hey, hey, but nobody hey, boy out there balling. Balling, bro. Uh, seven deep. That's all y'all going to do, 70. So if you're paying the defending champs, would you rather face them in the first round or the Western Conference Finals? Right, right now? Get it out the way? Yeah, Murray's on uh, minute restriction still a little bit. This is the best time. You let him get six, seven games in and go to the following, following series, and he's playing full 34, 40 minutes. As long as he's on 20, 25 minutes right now, they have a better chance. He done changed up his stance already. I saw that. <laughs> he been saying it. He been saying this whole time. We've been trying to get Denver in the first round. We, we want to meet him in, in the Western Conference Finals. We can lose this one and lose this one, so we don't get them. And then, now and it's the best scenario. And then I said, I didn't say it's the best scenario. Then I said, if they did get Denver, it'd be great right now because one player, their best, their second. It makes best sense what you're saying. Is on minute restriction. It do make yeah, sense. I mean, it sounds good. Only, it sound only, real good. Oh, it sound, all that it sound, sound real good. good. Until round, jump ball oh, number 15 walk out there. First round exit. All right, everybody put your hands in your pockets. Pretend to be Darvin Ham. <laughs> <laughs> With the best matchup you need to try and attack and expose for the Lakers to have a chance to win this series. Because you're not stopping Joker. I, I don't... When we watched those games last year, like, this year... The Lakers was the best team in the last two, three minutes, right? But not against them, right? That's the only team that had the Lakers number. They, they, their production in the last three minutes was amazing. Now, the scouting report that you have in the first 45 minutes has to change in the last three minutes because their playbook in the last three minutes is only two people, right? Mm -hmm. Jokic is going to make plays for himself and others, or Murray is going to make plays for himself and others. Those two. Everybody else who touches that ball is either going to shoot it or pass it back. Los Angeles Lakers, you can't have rogue basketball in the last three minutes because they're playing at a 95% efficient clip. That means Rui can't just be taking shots trying to create his own offense. You can't have... Lemon Daddy out there trying to play rogue basketball, hmm. right? We have a three-headed monster, and then the offense needs to run between them. And then if they pass it and you're wide open, take your shot. But if you don't have a shot, don't try to create shit because the other team ain't. They're playing efficient basketball last three minutes. If Lakers can play efficient basketball in those last three minutes, they have a, they have a good shot. If they're going to try to do... Lemon Daddy get it, he come down, we down five, and then he want to do some bullshit. Y'all going to get the fuck on out of here. I think the Nuggets' best chances of beating the Lakers the way they did last year is without Jamal Murray, right? So the pick and roll scenario with both of them allows AD and whoever's guarding them to switch off and on and all that kind of shit. But when you playing Joker at the pinch post with AD away from the basket, 
all those back cuts are going to be uncontested, right? So you could playing with Michael Porter, KCP, uh, Brown Boy, and um, Aaron, Gordon. Aaron, Gordon, Aaron Gordon moving around, right? So it's not so much angled off that pick and roll with them playing on the weak side. It's a lot of stagnant standing around on that side when they're doing their pick and roll. But when you're playing off Joker, it's a lot of back cutting. They go back to playing like Sacramento. The way that I think the Lakers beat them is you got to get Joker in foul trouble. When Joker not on the floor, you got a chance to win. That's 80% of their scoring gone. Yeah, Denver do a good job of making sure he don't get in foul trouble, though. They, yeah. they rotations, the way they help. Joker, if he do get beat, the help side, you know, is there, so he knows not to foul. Yeah, he just yeah. don't foul. That's a big hope. I don't know if they can, I mean, obviously they have a chance, but if they bet, if they both play their best basketball, Denver is going to be the better team because they got the... At the better player. I mean, Joker, there's no answer for him. Like, there's no answer for Joker. Passing or scoring, and he can make free throws in the clutch. And it's the same thing with Jamal Murray. He's clutch. He can go to the free throw line, step up, make the shots, and he can also play, make, and score. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's the difference. And, and you know, they more, they like, Joker is durable. He not going to wear down. Nope. Like, <laughs> he not going to wear down. Whether you play four games or seven games, Joker going to give you the business. And so... And their second unit is going to either keep the lead that they already have, or if they down, they're going to cut into that lead mm -hmm. so that when Joker or Jamal come back in the game, the momentum is still going to be rolling. So Lakers got to play almost perfect basketball to beat them. Yep. 